screw in I. Oh, fuck. Fuck. What happened? Are you deaf? I oh, just did that fat blue collar screw up on D-Wing. Fucking done. So you got nothing to do with me. Oh, yeah? What do you think they're going to do when they come through that door and see you sitting there? Hey? Yeah, exactly. You got it. Hard luck, mate. If it was Mr. Dawson, he's all right. The other screws love him, and he's been good to me. Why would he be good to you? I don't know. Well, you're fucking naive, ain't you, Sambo? Call me another name. I'll do it before the screws get in there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Keep your hair on. What? What have you done? Huh? What have you done? Stuff, will you? Now you want to smoke. You might have messed up my fucking parole. Come on, just kiss a bit. No. I need to fucking calm down. All right? Look at my hand. Look, it's fucking shaking. Please. Where Nick you come from? Stanford Hill, where'd you come from? Bedford. How long you got here? Two months until my parole. I told them to get me out of this shitty nick. I said, fucking move me, right? Or someone's gonna get hurt. And it'd probably be a screw. Well, I've gone and fucking done it now, haven't I? Crash bang wallop. Fat cunt went down like a lead balloon. Did you really do him? Yeah, of course I did. Stamping on his fucking head. There's gonna be panic stations in here in a minute. I can't hear nothing. There was this one kid in Bedford. He was always grassing up remanders before their cases. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm me. Can you roll? Of course I can. You ain't a reminder anyway. Yeah, but I've got my parole. Here he goes again. Will you shut up about your fucking parole? You're gonna be a hero on the wing. How do you feel about I that? I don't wanna be on the wing. That's the whole point. Why? What happened? Nothing. My mum and my pal can't keep coming all the way up here on visits. Driving them mad. Oh, I can't roll this. My hands are in bits. Where the fuck are they? What's happening with this mob? They're either trying to fuck with your head, or they're waiting for the right moment. Glenn Powell. Careful. You know the balding screw with a bad teeth. They'll be down here. They know who they're coming for anyway. I'm just gonna be on the bed with my hands up. What about when they spin the cell? They're gonna do you for this bit of solid, you thick cunt. They want us to have in here. It stops people fighting. Nah, not in this case. Bang goes your parole. <laughs> you think you're funny, don't you? Look, can you roll this for me? What, am I your servant? I can't this, Nick. How have I ended up here? I don't know. I nicked a poxy chalice. I'll roll you one if you stop moaning and stop making noise. 
All right, it's a bargain, cock. Got to work in about 30 minutes. Cleaning up shit for the screws. It gets me out of this cell. You can put a flame under that or what? All right, Ron. Yeah. So what's the panic? Don't complain, mate. Bit of overtime, eh? Yeah, I know. But the wife ain't too happy. Can I get a cup of tea first? I'll make you one later. Have a look in there, will you? What's up, Cliff? Come here. I heard the bloody screaming from the kitchens. Me and Albert ran up there. And? Cell two, three, four, six. Up on the ceiling. The new boy? Aye, from London. What'd the governor say? I'll go on report and solitary for a month. Only with the black bastard. Aye. But he's only got two more months to go. This was a quiet cell, and I was living in peace until you turned up. If your little talent show gets you to London, we'll all be on record. You have to do another screw. If I have to, I have to. That's how they got me here. Six more months of my sentence for a fray. You? You done it the salt? Never mind what salt I look like. Never coming back in here again. I was in Wandsworth. I explained to this librarian. Alan White, his name was. I wanted to keep this book I was halfway through. It was the only thing I brought from Brixton. Well, hold on a minute. I thought you said you come from Stanford Hill. I lied. Just like the sound of Stanford Hill. Anyway, Alan wouldn't listen to me. The only time he listened is when I took a stapler and tried to staple his nose. I went down the block for that. He ripped out loads of pages in the book, so I couldn't even finish it. Spiteful colour. That's why I thought I had to make up an ending in solitary. What book was it? Les Miserables and Lee Miserables, something like that. I started on a three-month sentence. Don't tell me. You were fitted up. How'd you guess? They dumbed me over the sus law. The what? 1824. Vagrancy law came in and the sus law was linked to that. I had no previous. And the police officers 
for the witnesses in the court. Bollocks. Seriously, all they had to do was suspect you of something. They lied, basically. So wait, hold on a minute, right? You're trying to tell me you didn't do nothing. Nothing. They suspected I was trying car door handles. Fucking bastards, didn't they? All of them, bastards! It's going to be riots on the streets if this goes on. Yeah, fucking right at all. You ought to go with this. I have one locked, that's all. What's on your mind? Oh, nothing. Just wondering whether my bird got me last letter. But you ain't got a bird, have you? She didn't want to see me. I don't trust her. Who? Carol. She's been going to these parties. And she ghosted me on the last visit. I know where she winks, I've got someone spying on her. Problem is, he's a slippery bastard. Now I've got to try and find someone to keep an eye on him. Fucking never ends. How many years? Three. <laughs> She's got to stay faithful with you for three years. No, I've been with her for three. I've got a four. What did you say you did? Stole something from the church. <laughs> oh my God. As soon as I saw the chalice, I thought I'm having that. Sticking a soul charge on top. When I went in there, say a little prayer. Did you? <laughs> no. Of course not. Poor vicar. Boy, never mind the poor vicar. Fingered me in a lineup. Not literally. In that book, this fellow. Nicks a cut from the priest. Really? Well, what happens? The priest gives him the cut and sends him on his way. And he makes a load of money. What kind of fucking stupid story is that? He forgives him as it happens. Oh, I wish the Reverend had been that kind to me. The copper follows him for years. I just remember. Leaping over gravestones with the blood of Christ. May God have mercy on your soul. Thank you. Do you want a biscuit? Yeah. Fuck me. You got it made in here, ain't you? Fucking puff, chalky pickies. Mm. So go on, then what happened to the rest of that story then? Never finished it. Alan tore the pages out, didn't he? Oh yeah, fucking hell. I might do that Alan myself if I ever see him. <laughs> He's doing a life in one's worth if you get to go there. I had to make up the rest of the story about his escape over the French Alps. You what, you made it up? Fucking daft coon, didn't you?
ったのを忘れて。Just come out. Two attempts at escape. 1805, 1809. It is my duty to inform you of your conditions of parole. Conditions laid down in the statutes of France. This requires you to report to the shoe factory in Pontilier in 21 days. No, 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 no,